All right, so this video is going to talk about this Lanzi toe behind combination hand roll compost and peat moss spreader. I'd seen these in quite a few online videos. They look like a fantastic idea. Save an awful lot of work, particularly because in my case, I will use it as a toe behind because I have one of these. And of course, it makes a terrific way to get around my yard without getting worked up or tired. So I ordered one. I hummed and hawed for a long time and ordered one. This is the first one that I received right here. As you can see, I have a second one. The first one, when I got it, I put a few small bags of black earth in it that I got from Walmart, ran it across the yard, was very happy. It spread beautifully, just exactly what you'd want. Spread quickly, no muss, no fuss, no trouble. So I ordered a few yards of topsoil in. I screened clean topsoil. When it arrived, I let it sit for a couple of days to dry to make sure it was nice and dry and you know not too clumpy or heavy or anything like that. And then I put some into it and started spreading. And I took one path, probably about 100, 150 feet long, and then it came back and filled it again and took a path down and part way back where the pole arm fastened, it came apart. And you can probably see that this is no longer square. It originally had one of these little push button pop-ups that actually held the, the toe arm onto the unit. Um, when it snapped, because it's just a little push button. Not only did the arm fall out, but it bent the heck out of the bracket. So I drilled some holes in, I put a bolt back in to put it back together. And at the same time, dealt with the rest of what went wrong. All these little tabs that hold the clips were bent up. Now they weren't completely bent over, they didn't let go, but these things are actually pretty thin. There's not much metal to one of these. Also, as you can tell from all the tie wraps I've added, in order to at least finish rolling out what was in the unit, I had to do something to put it back together because this wire frame separated completely from all of the cross pieces. It had separated at the edges, separated in the middle. The hinges still held together and the door was still closed, but I couldn't do much with it. So, a whole bunch of tie wraps later, I was able to get it to hold together long enough to finish spreading. You may guess, I wasn't very happy. I didn't think the unit was cheap although it didn't appear to be very well made. So I contacted Lanzi and told them of my uh, troubles and my tale of woe, and they were very sympathetic to it. And they said, we don't want you to be unhappy. Uh, we don't believe our product should fall apart like that, just like you don't. And so they sent me another one, no charge, no shipping, just sent it to me. So this is my new one. I just finished putting it together. I haven't even gotten it dirty yet, although I have dragged it across the floor a little bit in my garage, so it's got a few scratches on it now. But there's quite a few changes here. And I'm actually quite pleased with the changes that I think it'll make a much more durable product. Let's start with what first came apart on mine, the connection to the, tie, to, to, to the uh, tow bar. That was just a single bracket with a push button in it. Even with a bolt in it, it's not too good. The new one, first off, the tow bar itself is the same square iron that they used, or square metal that they used in the old one. But you can easily see the improvement here. This is no longer just a little push button into a slot. This thing comes with bolts. You bolt the handles on, it's welded, it's got supports. This should be considerably more durable. Next, on the old one, if you look closely, you can see there are some welds. Some of the places that look like welds aren't actually fastened. So I think whoever was doing this, it was a Monday or Friday, 
but it was only welded about every, you know, five, four, whatever positions. Same on the outsides. The new one, every single position is welded. Every single place that the frame touches it, it is welded. On the outsides, they still don't have any extra welds compared to the old one. However, the outsides of it isn't really where the thing split on me. It was in the middle. So I think this will be much more durable. They've even improved the wraparound bar because the new one is square metal and the old one was just a tube. Now, how much difference will that make? Eh, probably not a whole lot. I don't think that unit was really challenged to do the job it's doing, but it is built more sturdy. And certainly where it fastens in should be better. It should last longer and stay in good shape longer. Even these clips, they have significantly increased the thickness of metal for these clips. The old ones I was able to bend back in place by pushing on with my finger. These ones, no, you are not bending these with your finger. Very solid. So I'm looking forward to getting it dirty and seeing how the new one goes. I expect much better results.